look at a generator or alternator off of a grasshopper 721D. And we're going to uh, go inside this alternator. Uh, the bearings, I feel, are worn out or exploded. Uh, the alternator is just locked up. Uh, these little units are pretty much indestructible. But, uh, most of the time it's a mechanical issue with these, not an electrical issue. And uh, once we get it apart, I'll show you all the, the wires and the, the windings inside this thing and what to look for uh, when rebuilding one of these. Really the only tools that you'll need are a 19 millimeter, a 17 millimeter, a brass hammer, and a small punch. And uh, we'll uh, start getting this thing disassembled right here. And if you'll look, right here on the front of the pulley are actually like wrench flats where that 19 millimeter wrench will engage and you can turn this thing over. And remove the nut on the back side. Remove your washer. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just thread the nut back down on there just momentarily. Like that. Now, this axle shaft right here will go all the way through the alternator. And once you get the nut loose, you can just take and hold these two ears right here and take and tap this nut. And that will separate the two halves. And this very, very strong magnets, these rare earth magnets. Now, here's your windings. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Six, seven, eight. And uh, what you want to do, you want to look for burn spots. Um, but like I said, I just don't have any problems out of these. It's There's no moving parts. Uh, this uh, rotor or flywheel that houses these rare earth magnets are pretty much indestructible. Now, to get this rear bearing out is pretty self-explanatory what you want to do is you want to tuck these wires down in here like this so you will have a flat surface to set this thing down on the table like this take your punch and just ease that bearing back out the back side And that's all there is to it. Now, the other side of the bearings are, or the front main bearings are in this rotor here, or the flywheel. You can take a brass hammer and just go ahead and tap your axle shaft on through. Remove the axle shaft and the bearings. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that bearing is just completely exploded. Whoops, dropped it. But uh, let's go ahead and get the new bearings out and uh, we'll get this thing put back together. The part number on these bearings are uh, 6201 2ZJEM. Basically what that means is that it's a metal shielded bearing, just like the ones that came out. And they've got a little dust seal or uh, they're sealed. They've got a seal around them. So what you want to do, you just want to go ahead and stick your bearings down in here. 
and you may have to tackle a little bit and there's two of them on the flywheel end of this alternator and they just go end to end there's a, the boss is built up enough right here to where you can basically you have to stack them just like that take your hammer and just ease them down in there don't hit them too hard you don't want to mess up the, the balls should go right down in there next step you want to do is be sure your spacer is in here and uh, go ahead and slide your flywheel and your axle shaft on down through tap it to seat it install your rear bearing go ahead and slide your bearing on down into the back half of the alternator tap it down till it's flush install your big washer and then the lock washer and then go ahead and get your nut tightened down and snugged up that's plenty tight just about right these magnets are so strong if you can watch it see it spring back if you spun this fast enough you'd probably get I don't I don't know the spec on that but uh, I'm sure you're supposed to get somewhere around 48 volts DC coming out of this thing awesome if you have any questions about grasshopper generators or alternators let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a great day.